Rockwell Automation is a worldwide leader in industrial automation, controls, and smart manufacturing. We provide tools and technology designed to help you better run and improve your manufacturing operations. Plex is a part of this smart production manufacturing platform designed to deliver KPI or Key Performance Indicator data, such as OEE, also known as Overall Equipment Effectiveness. Thanks for taking the time today to sit in on this brief overview of the Plex Production Monitoring or Plex PM platform, where we're going to dive in a little bit more in detail. Let's talk about the Plex Smart Manufacturing Platform as shown. So we begin with what we're here to talk about today, which is Plex PM or Plex Production Monitoring, which is really designed to deliver and visualize operational KPIs as well as continuous improvement data. But it doesn't stop there. Because this is a cloud offered SaaS software as a service based solution, we can build on top of that versionless software, thereby preserving your existing investment from plant to plant, asset to asset, line to line, etc. to help you deliver and drive your digital transformation as well as accelerating your performance goals, performance improvements goals over time. From production monitoring, we can build on top of that to Plex APM or asset performance. There will allow us to gain rich and deeper insight into plant floor equipment and assets and better understand what's going on with our process data. So if production monitoring is operational KPIs, asset performance data allows us to see time series data and make actionable decisions based on that. There are other videos that cover this topic in more detail. We want to illustrate that as a, as a stepping stone here to build on top of the Plex smart manufacturing platform. From there, we can expand into Plex quality management software to allow us to better manage our quality in a closed loop digital system of record. We're starting sort of the crawl, walk, run I approach, crawl, walk, run approach as I call it, that allows us to sort of build up over time and expand our capability. So we layer quality on top of uh, what we have. Uh, and from there we can expand to full blown uh, manufacturing execution systems or MES or even ERP. It's all part of the Plex umbrella of offering that I like to call the smart manufacturing platform. Now let's talk about a high level overview of how Plex production monitoring works. As mentioned earlier, Plex production monitoring is a cloud based software as a services offering. So in this slide, you can see here down at the bottom, we have the edge, which would represent, you know, the four walls of your facility up to the cloud. And let's talk about the different pieces and components of how this works. So to start with, we leverage Kepware's Kep Server EX to deliver technology securely and robustly from your facility up to the cloud. So you may already have the Kepware products in place today. If not, they're included as part of the solution, but they rely on the manufacturing suite and they connect to a variety of different devices at the plant floor. So there's a number of different ways that we can get data into the system, whether it's from PLC, external system, devices, HMIs, databases, etc. There's lots of avenues where we can consume data from the facility and send that up to the environment here. Next, we visualize that data. And so when, we, when I say visualize, I don't mean that we're having to build screens and do complicated logic. Everything you see here is pre-built using what we call display slots. So when we see the software demonstration, I'll make that more clear. But suffice it to say that everything is pre-built and you're not spending time customizing screens. You just drop display elements into visualization slots and very quickly you can be visualizing this data. So from there, the idea is to be able to improve that. So we can't fix what we can't measure and what we can't improve, right? So what we want to be able to do is better understand through uh, analytics and things like that. So from a visualization perspective, we can see real time data as well as all of this data uh, is going into a reporting infrastructure that allows me to consume the data in a number of different uh, pre built reporting methods that we'll see momentarily. And also I can export the data out uh, for long term analysis or if I have my own reporting package that I want to see data. So the idea here is to be able to uh, drive continuous improvement through some of the performance and analytics data that we see here. So now that you know what production monitoring provides and how it's architected, let's have a look at it in action. So here we are at the high level area overview screen that displays all of the relevant information that Plex production monitoring is collecting. You can see organized across the top there are tabs that would allow me to display my own individual areas that I were interested in displaying information on, but the relevant information being displayed is information such as the asset or work center 
information about what it's producing and how it's producing. This is the OEE data that we're concerned about, uh, as well as shift information, order completion information, and even machine status are displayed here. All this information is updated in real time, so it'd be very useful if I wanted to display this on, say, a large screen format TV in a break room or something like that. From here, we can drill into the individual assets as shown to see some more detail. Let's do that. Now we're looking at the operation view. So think of we've sort of zoomed in from a higher level to a more detailed level of the individual work centers to what's going on. So there's a lot of information being conveyed here from this display. So one of the things that we can see is all of the OEE data and the relevant information that's making up that data. So we can see things like my parts per hour, parts per day, what the current status of the work center is as it relates to its downtime or availability state. I can interact with this machine. So from a, what I'm making perspective, parts and pieces, I can change setup, I can record scrap. I can even set machine state from this display as well as a high level visualization to be able to see a real time status timeline as to what's going on in this asset over the past 12 hours in sort of a Gantt view perspective. So one of the things I like about this is if I needed to go into here and for instance, change the machine state to a problem state, let's say we had a label jam, we could do that. And the system will update that. Notice that I've gone into a problem state and now I'm starting to accumulate some downtime. So we should see that over time, that OEE number will fall. Uh, in this case, this is running an automated demo. So the system sets it back into an automated production state fairly quickly. I can also go here and I can interact with the system from a, in terms of what products I'm producing. This can also be picked up from an external system such as your ERP or MES system or uh, things like that. Um, we can also record scrap from here. So if I need a manual way to record scrap from this particular product, I can do that. So if I wanted to record 10 units of scrap, I could do that directly from this interface, right? That can also be picked up from the automation layer. So any of the things that you see here can come from a combination of say the automation layer, as well as data input from uh, the actual asset that we see here as well. We can zoom into this at a higher level of detail by clicking on the graphs icon up at the top to see the individual elements that make up the overall equipment effectiveness or OEE in more detail. So we can see here that my availability has slightly dropped. This is because I put the machine in a downtime state. Um, my quality has dropped because I recorded some scrap. So we can see things like what my target, at, my target versus actual are and some additional information. So from this interface, you might think this interface is probably something that an operator or supervisor might use. Um, go from a higher level sort of to a zoomed in level. One of the really neat things I like to talk about about this interface is the digital whiteboard. So if we click on the little whiteboard icon, there's a digital version of the whiteboard over the past day that shows broken down by hour individual uh, uh, job numbers and parts that you're working on, as well as any relevant events associated with that. And the neat thing about it is I can come in here and I can enter in some notes. So think of this as a replacement for the whiteboard uh, in a meeting room that you may want to take this data to. You could have live interactive data driving your production meetings instead of static data that's, you know, a day or two old. You could have, you know, up to the minute data of real time data. And I could add comments and notes to this data, which gets stored uh, on, on the back end in the environment as well. So in terms of the user interface in real time, uh, this is about all it does here. So it's pretty simple, sort of what you see is what you get. Um, in, in terms of complexity, it's very easy to use. We call this a low barrier uh, to entry tool. Uh, so there is no coding or scripting. Um, I'm logged in with a configuration user. And so you'll notice in the upper right hand corner here, I have these icons that allow me to edit things. And so I can come in here and, and say, I don't want to see shift global OEE. I want to see something else. I can click on the edit and go into an edit mode and change out this display. So there is no, no concept of scripting or complexity associated with that. So we, we give you a mostly painted picture and you sort of connect the dots and it's very easy to use from that perspective. Now behind the scenes, all this information that's available for real-time visualization is being sent into a database that's also in the cloud and exposed for real-time reporting. So this is the reporting interface. It's very basic, very easy to use. Probably you're familiar with if you've ever used any SQL Server reporting services or Crystal Reports or Power BI or anything like that. Very easy to use. So I've added a couple favorite reports here. Just like to go through and show you sort of a basic overview. 
So you can see up at the top, there's some basic filtering. I can filter on, you know, the common types of things I would expect to in a reporting package. I can go through and filter on time, item, uh, asset or work center, location, things like that. I can select, you know, sort of a custom uh, relative time date range to the current week to see what's going on. So let us go ahead and run that report as it is. And so we can see here a very simplistic report just sort of showing you organized by a piece of equipment or what we call work center. That's the OEE report that's showing you just my quantity information as it relates to OEE. So any losses I've had associated with downtime in terms of product or time stoppage or things like that. So basic tabular report. So the neat thing from here is you can get this data out of this interface in a number of different formats. So if I want to export the data in uh, export it in a data type format, I can do that. Or, you know, if I want to share this report with somebody else, I can do that as well. Another neat report, it's a little bit more visual here, is this scrap by reasons Pareto. I can select which reasons I'm interested in. So we'll just run this report as its basic settings as it is. Just more of a visual report, just to show you some of the visual capabilities that we can do in the reporting interface. And as I mentioned earlier, you can export this information from here. So if you have another reporting package that you would wish to report on your own, you can export this data out of here and get, get that into another format that is relevant to your reporting package. So that's about it from a basic high-level overview of the capability of Plex Production Monitoring in terms of its real-time user interface and its reporting infrastructure. Thank you for taking the time to sit in on this today and let us know if you have any questions. Thanks.